For our next story, let me show you a photo. It shows people donning masks of Prime Minister Modi. Do you know who these people are? They're not in a political rally in India. These are people of the Maldives and they are protesting. What you see is a political protest in the Maldives against India. They call it the India Out campaign. You may have heard about it. It's not a new campaign, but now it's being revived. That's because the Maldives is heading for a presidential election. And a former president is trying to win back power. His name is Abdullah Yamin, a tainted leader currently in jail over corruption charges, backed by China and hoping to be president again. What is his strategy? Targeting India. That's how he plans to win the election. And these protesters that you just saw are Yamin's supporters. They launched their India Out campaign on Eid this month. The election is in the month of September. And like any other country, the Maldives has its own set of problems. Its people have their own challenges, their own priorities. But Yamin is determined to make this about India. He wants the election agenda to be dominated by India. Remember, this man was ousted from power in 2018, and since then, his politics has been focused on India. He's been the face of the India Out campaign. He's been pushing it for years now. It comes like a flash in the pan. But it's been hard to sustain. It hasn't gained much traction, mostly because of Yamin's own tainted reputation. He's serving an 11-year jail sentence, 11-year jail sentence for taking bribes and laundering money. He did this while he was president. And that's not all. As president, Yamin was called China's man in Mali. There was an open door for Chinese investments in the country. Yamin cleared a series of Chinese projects. And in the process, he pushed his country into a debt trap. During the Yamin years, Mali raked up over a billion dollars in Chinese debt. That's a lot of money for this country. More than one billion dollars. The voters saw through Yamin. In 2018, he was voted out of power and Ibrahim Mohamed Soli took over as president. Under Soli, Mali's relationship with New Delhi has strengthened and China's influence has diminished. India has gained a stronger foothold. In the last four years, New Delhi has signed a wide range of pacts from defense to infrastructure. It has also given Mali $2.7 billion. This is in the form of loans. Also, development assistance for infrastructure projects. But unlike China, India's assistance does not compromise the sovereignty of the Maldives. And they acknowledge that. The government of the Maldives has slammed Yamin and the India Out campaign. In fact, let me quote from a statement by the Maldivian government. This is about the recent protests. This is what they say. Such dishonorable acts by the opposition regarding one of Maldives' key bilateral partners and its leadership during Eid al Adha festivities, a time of peace, joy and harmony, does not only provoke hatred but also promote hostility with the objective of tarnishing the country's long-standing cordial ties with India. So Mali is not wavering from its position, but ahead of the election, President Soli faces a challenge. There is a split in the ruling coalition. Mohammad Nasheed, the former president, has quit the ruling party. He stepped down last month, apparently a power struggle. Soli and Nasheed were not getting along. They were at odds on multiple issues. Ultimately, Nasheed walked out. And now he's floated his own party. It's called the Democrats. Reports say Nasheed could also join hands with Yamin. No formal confirmation yet. But this month there was a meeting in Mali. Nasheed's team met with members of Yamin's party. And they're said to have discussed ways to quote unquote find common ground before the presidential election. So will they formally join hands? We'll have to wait and see. But if it happens, it would be a dramatic turn of events. You see, there's a history between Yamin and Nasheed. They were fierce political rivals. In 2015, when Yamin was president, Nasheed was arrested on charges of terrorism. He was forced into exile for two years. He returned when Soli won the election in 2018. So an alliance between Yamin and Nasheed is a highly unlikely one. At the same time, it cannot be ruled out. It's hard to say how this will impact Soli's chances. As of today, there is no clear front runner in the upcoming election. Recently, a think tank in the Maldives conducted an opinion poll. This is what they found. 52% of the voters are on the fence, undecided. 15% back Soli, 10% want to vote for Yamin, and only 6% back Mohammed Nasheed. The election is still two months away, and that's a very long time in politics.